And good morning. I'm Jack Minish with NBC 2's Trash Your Treasure. Well, as I said in the teaser, how are country or primitive style antiques doing in today's market? Well, in fact, they're not doing as well as they did back in the 80s and 90s. Let's go ahead and start right here with this butter mold. Now, this is a nice old one. It's an antique one. It uh, has a nice carved pattern down in here. Let me turn it right here so Bob can get it. So there you'll see right there, it's a nice carved flower right there. Okay, so it's, it's very nice, but this one particular one right now in today's market, this is only going to sell, believe it or not, for let's say uh, somewhere between $40 and $75. Now, really nice uh, ones in really great shape with very intricately carved patterns on the bottom. Today are selling for about, let's say, $115 to $125. Whereas in the past, just an average one like this, let's say, would sell uh, somewhere between $100, $125. And a very intricately carved one would be maybe $350, $400. So the market has dipped substantially there. Now, let me pull this back right here. Now, we have coffee mills. You know, I see a lot of these. In fact, my um, Aunt Joan used to collect, collect coffee mills. Now, this one uh, doesn't have a maker's name anywhere. There's no paper label. There's nothing in the cast iron here on the top. Uh, so this is just a, what you call an average run-of-the-mill crank style coffee mill. Now, on today's market, uh, this one's selling, uh, oh, 40 to 50, $55 someplace in there. Uh, back 1980s, 1990s, this probably would have sold for 100, 125 bucks. So a big dip in the price on coffee mills there too. And this one's nice. It's in great shape. And while we're at it, uh, right up here on the top, we see a slotted screw. That slotted screw, again, that lets us know that this is an original old coffee mill more than likely because if it were a new reproduction, it would have a Phillips head screw up there, okay? So just a little tip for you there. Now this I've saved for last. This is really nice. Now this is, if we can get a shot of the label there, Bob, this is the Garland brand pure fruit and then up here on top and it says it's preserves. Up here on the top it says it was strawberry preserves. So this is a very nice old crock. Uh, and what it was is in 1901 through 1929, uh, Sears tried their hand at a grocery department. Well, it didn't prove profitable, so in 1929 they actually closed it down because they just weren't making the money they wanted to make on groceries. You know, let me show you this up here on the top. Uh, like I said, the uh, grocery department for Sears started in 1901, so right here we have a patent date here of uh, April 16th, 1901. So I th am just almost positive that this uh, crock is 100 years old or well over 100 years old. Now, this is collectible three ways. There are people that collect Sears items, there are people that collect just crockery, and there are people that collect advertising. So this is a nice piece that can go to any type of collector. This is probably gonna sell, I'm gonna guess that this is probably gonna be somewhere between $125 and $175 because of the age. This thing is fantastic, just love it. And by the way, all three of these items can be seen at the Sanibel Historical Museum on Sanibel Island. That museum is open November 1st through August the 15th. I'm Jack Minish with NBC2's Trash or Treasure. Look forward to seeing you again next week.